especially being somebody in a larger body a lot of people assume that i have oxygen because of my weight or something like that um the reason i actually wear oxygen is because i have a rare lung disease it is called pulmonary hypertension not to be mistaken with high blood pressure it is an actual lung disease that affects a lot of people um weight is not really a factor that goes into it well jbay we aren't starting out too hot are we today you see the drippy i'm fitted up hop in my car and get it up secure the bag yeah i get the bus pick it up pick it up pick it up, pick it up. First, she wanted bigger airplane seats. Then, she wanted to break down the walls of a hotel to make the hallways bigger. And now, she wants bigger everything at restaurants. I don't know, but J Bay Official is back for more suggestions to make the world a better place for her to roll around in. And her next focus is restaurants. But before we get to her list of 10 things restaurants can do to make their environment better for very, obese people. Welcome to the channel. This is where I talk about internet weirdos, reality shows, reality show weirdos on the internet and their drama. I break it all down, put it into a way overly done edited video so you're not scrolling through your phone, rotting your brain. So if you're interested in drama, click the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 750,000 and we are almost there. Thank you, by the way, for all the new subscribers that have joined the pug cult. I'm just kidding. We're not a cult or are we? We're not, but maybe we are secretly. You'll only find Find out if you hit the subscribe button. Okay, but before we get to that like 10 list of things restaurants can do to make their environment more comfortable for obese people, would you like to become fat certified? What the hell is even that? Uh, you, oh, you don't know what that is? Yeah, I didn't either. But all I know is J Bay is starting it. So J Bay announced on her Instagram and TikTok that she is starting a plus size certification intuitive. In a world where inclusivity should be prioritized and not health, we are developing a certification program program that will help you quickly identify businesses truly accommodating to people of size. This certification will be your assurance that these business prioritize your needs and comfort. So you're going to get a certification that will help you be able to decipher what places can fit your ass cheeks in their chairs and their hallways. Couldn't you just call. Most people have cell phones. Or you could just go in and take a look. Anyway, there's a survey because she says your feedback is crucial. And I mean, <laughs> I mean, if it's crucial for you, then I'll take a look. Do you believe there is a need for a certification program that identifies and promotes businesses as plus size friendly? Uh, absolutely not, Jay. I'm still very confused on what exactly would you be certified in. And if this whole thing happens, who's going to willingly tell people that they are a certified fat individual? Fat people in my comment section, would you tell people that you are certified in being fat? I think if I was fat, I would just know. I don't want that certification. So she posted a video explaining the whole thing, but I was still kind of confused on exactly what is involved in being a certified obese individual. I need your help, so listen up. My partners and I just launched a new survey and we need your input to really make a difference. We are working on a project that will have a major impact across industries for plus size individuals. We want your input to help shape this program and help make sure we're reaching the needs of everyone in the plus size community collectively. So if you could please take a few minutes out of your day and click the link in my bio or the link on the screen and fill out the survey, this would help us tremendously. So yeah, still a little confused, but let's get into the suggestions for restaurants to add to the confusion because if she goes to restaurants as often as she says she does and travels that much where she's always in restaurants how does she not know that restaurants they have booths for people who like them and for people whose butt cheeks swallow stools chairs and possibly a bench so without further ado let's see what's going on here if you've ever been uncomfortable in a restaurant because of your size you might want to go on a diet <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's that's not what she says. I know the struggle, and that's why I'm making today's video. Today's video is all about how restaurants can be more size inclusive and accessible for people of all sizes and abilities. There are handicapped areas in most places already. I had to put this in here because I didn't in the last one, in the hotel hallway one, or the hotel one when she said she needed all these extra things so that she can get through to the hallway. I didn't say it, but you guys did, and you guys were completely right. And even many disabled people were reminding me or maybe her, I don't know, in the comment section saying, we have a lot of those things that she wants specifically for obese people. Which by the way, I know she's obese, but people that are in wheelchairs and have actual problems where they can't 
help it. Does anybody feel that J Bay is just taking up space that the people who need it, who didn't forcibly put themselves in that situation, could be using? You know how these people always say, people are so mad we're taking up space. Yeah, a little bit, I would think. In that situation, yes. Kind of rude. With this video, I hope to educate some restaurant owners so that they can make their restaurants more size inclusive and accessible. Here are my 10 solutions for how restaurants can create a more inclusive environment. One of these have got to be about seating. I can feel it. J Bay is obsessed with being able to sit places. Solution number one, comfortable seating. I don't wanna say I told you so. Psych, I do, told you so. Restaurants should provide spacious and sturdy chairs without armrests so that people of all sizes can dine comfortably. It's just a weird obsession to have, you know, this whole chair thing when you can't fit in most of them. I would feel like just a complete butt face if I was constantly talking about how I can't fit into chairs, how I can't, you know, sit comfortably in airplanes. And the solutions that I had was other people fix the chair or buy different chairs for me. And not one of my solutions was uh, me fixing myself. I would feel like I would have just a little bit of main character syndrome. Solution number two, flexible table arrangements. Offer adjustable table configurations with ample space in between so people in larger bodies can navigate everything comfortably. So first she wanted us to break out all of our tools to make hallways bigger, right? She wanted a whole construction project. Now we need to make adjustable tables to make sure things are wide enough so y'all can just, you know, slip and slide yourself on in. Solution number three, accessible restrooms. Ensure restrooms are spacious and can comfortably accommodate plus size individuals and those with disabilities. Don't do that. Don't, don't put in the people with disabilities. That's a little, you know, don't lump them in with you guys. People with disabilities, can y'all come forth? Do you wanna be in the same group as this woman right here, as the certified fat woman who's demanding bigger hallways? and eats cheeseburgers while she has that breathing tube in her because she might suffocate or have a heart attack. Are you offended? Because I feel like you guys should be infuriated at that, right? It's like when they say, we need to fight against fat phobia and racism of specifically black women. Don't put, don't you dare put me in the same box as you. It's already tied up in that box and I don't like to be touched. Anyway, disabled people, let me know. I thought that was just another thing to say that was that was rude. Solution number four, reservation flexibility. Allow guests to request seating preferences during the reservation process. Should not have even been on this list. They already do that. She just needed to fill a number slot to get that even number of 10 suggestions. That's not even creative, Jay. Solution number five, provide key information on your website. Provide key information like table configurations, seat dimensions, chair weight capacities, and more on your website where it's easily accessible. That would be helpful. Solution number six, ensure that your tables are not secured to the ground. Why though? Make sure they can be moved to make room for individuals who might need more space. Oh, duh. I was like, who the hell would want a table to move all around? That has to be uncomfortable, especially if you guys are having a bomb time. The jokes are flowing. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm having a good laugh attack, I move around quite a bit, shaking tables and you know? When you're having a good time with friends and you just feel the jokes inside of you and it's just uh, some of you guys are saying no, okay, well then your friends are boring if they don't make you flop around like a seal on the ground when they're making jokes. So I say, we should bolt down the tables for us people who laugh a lot. But I guess for fat people who can't slide into an average sized booth, bolted tables might be a little bit traumatizing. Solution number seven, offer more room in booth seating. Does she expect people to just like knock down walls when she walks into restaurants so that she can fit into a booth? I'm just wondering if this is just a TikTok thing because could you imagine if somebody went into a restaurant and said all of this stuff in person? Hi, welcome to Cheezers. Murdith will seat you now. Are a step Hi, Certified Fat here, and I noticed just upon one single glance that your tables are bolted to the ground. How do you expect me to fit in a booth? I see the aisles are way too small for Certified Fats like me. How do you expect me to walk down the aisle? And I noticed the bar stools max weight are 350 pounds. How do you plan to accommodate me and my beautiful fat plus size sisters here who are also Certified Fat? Um, I'm not sure what to do. Well, I need you to accommodate me. I'm just... I, I just, do I need to TikTok this? I just, you see, it's kind of like my first. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Listen, certified.
fat. Just go somewhere else. We can't accommodate you. Yeah, that'd be a little weird, right? Solution number eight, staff training. Train staff on what type of accommodations can help plus size individuals have a better experience. J, J Bay, J Bay official. The staff does not have the skill to accommodate you if you can't fit in a booth. Do you expect the staff to all be Bob the Builder, okay? And the moment you or someone like you can't fit, they break out their hammers, throw on their hard hats, and, and start working on the walls and just crafting a whole new booth to fit your ass? How is staff going to be educated on how to accommodate someone who can't fit into the already seated arrangement at the restaurant. They don't have the power to do that. They barely have the power to comp your meal. Come on, I know you guys are gonna say, oh, you can teach them all about inclusivity. To J Bay, inclusivity means her fitting her butt cheeks into the establishment. And if she goes to an establishment that doesn't have the capacity for her butt, how are they going to accommodate her? And you know what? I have a feeling if they did suggest the obvious, you would probably get really upset. I wonder how that would go. Okay, we aren't able to sit you in the restaurant, but I came up with an alternative. Now I did make sure to call my boss and tell him all of your recommendations. But while that's getting all fixed, we set up a little picnic outside with candles and live music. We really would love for you to dine with us and try our wonderful- Yeah, see, not very well. Solution number nine, outdoor dining. If you've got an outdoor dining area, make sure you have some chairs without armrests. So I was gonna say, why no armrest? But she said some some, you know, optional. I was going to nitpick because my arms like to sit back and rest after a huge meal at a restaurant, but I'll allow it in this video. But if it was my restaurant, I would do exactly what I wanted to do. If my chairs had armrests and I saw this video, I would make sure that all of my chairs would have armrests just to spider. Restaurant Michelle don't like suggestions. And opt for chairs that do not have metal grating. This is a small change that can create a more open and inclusive atmosphere. Jay, these are not just small changes. These are big changes for some big people. And last but not least, solution 10, showcase photos. Consider showcasing photos of your typical seating and table setups on your website. It helps people plan ahead and sets the stage for a comfortable and welcoming dining experience. And these are just some of the ways that restaurants can become more size friendly and inclusive. There's more? She barely was able to scrounge up tin for this idea list. What more can she think of? Anyway, that's the new list for restaurants. So any restaurant owners out here who want to uh, have people like J Bay in your establishment, these are the steps to uh, influence her to come walk into your restaurant. And I'm sure everybody would want that. Listen, 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 listen. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. Get out! Can you imagine if I had a restaurant and J Bay came stomping into it? Just kidding. Way too many scenes here, okay? We gotta go. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you do not have to be a size two. Having big biceps to scare away all the boys is great, but not needed to be healthy. But health is very important. If you are struggling to walk your ass through some hotel hallways and your butt cheeks are engulfing stools, you might want to focus more on yourself rather than telling people to change the chairs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be a good person today. Take a walk, pet a dog, and I'll see you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your